Welcome back to Toronto. Good to have you back Thank here. You. Um, this is just batshit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So well said. It really is. <laughs> I have to say, like, I mean, based on on Richard K. Morgan's amazing book. Yes. Um, was it something that you had read before? Did you know about this? I heard rumblings that a, a prestigious, uh, sweeping show was coming up to Vancouver, right at the tail end of another project that I had been working on, and um, I so I started making gentle inquiries and when I found out that it was Altered Carbon I immediately went out and got the book mm. and read it in three sweaty summer days and loved it and it just compelled me so greatly and then I waited yeah. um, to see if there were any roles and um, sure enough when the audition came through for Miriam I was like oh, I got it. I'm what? And then, <laughs> that's so challenging. Yeah. But I love her. I was immediately scared of her. And um, the project is so sweeping. And um, the people who brought it to the screen are so committed that I just couldn't help but get swept up in wanting to be a part of it. And right. then when I knew that Joel Kinnaman was cast, yeah. I all the more so wanted to be a part of it because Joel and I had worked on The Killing together. Exactly, yeah. And I had the good fortune that um, that the people who make these kinds of decisions also wanted me to join the cast. So oh, nice. I was really uh, grateful. Yeah, uh, it's, it's such an amazing premise. Um, did, you know, it, it's hard to wrap your mind around that. Like, could you even imagine having that kind of an opportunity to come back in somebody else's body? I know. You know, um, the story is held with so much love. Um, Lita Kilgrady is really... Lita Corogridis really, 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 really championed this project. She bought the rights and then spent seven years trying to get it made. Yeah. And so not only is it a premise and her commitment the thing that was exciting, but when you've got someone who's leading you who believes so much in this project, you suspend your, your disbelief immediately right. and um, just jump right in with yeah. two feet. So then it then the project becomes beyond the genre, mm -hmm. in my opinion. The story itself was so compelling um, and and filled with age-old themes that we've set in this neo-noir, steampunk, the best of science fiction world right. um, with characters that are, that are flawed and... Um, Seriously flawed. Yeah, and, are, <laughs> and, and with a premise that is yeah. frightening yeah. that you'd be able to download your consciousness into if you're so lucky, the body of your right. choice. If you're not so lucky, the body you don't choose. And yeah. how, what that does to society. And exploring the vast differences, literally, between living on the ground and living in the clouds if yeah. you are part of the elite. Right. Um, I just found it full of metaphor and exploration that was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, obviously you've worked on so many different TV shows and, and, and other projects, but how do you prepare or did you prepare differently for something like this? Um, well, I physically prepared to play Miriam because I appreciated the fact that Lita cast a woman in her 40s mm -hmm. to play um, a character who could choose any PowerPoint to incarnate. Yeah. So. I was inhabiting Miriam Bancroft the way she chose to be. She could have been any age. She could have looked any way. And I wanted very much to show a woman of infinite wealth and infinite leisure mm. why and how she may have chosen to choose 46 as her point of power and what that looks like. So physically, I did alter myself. I literally altered my garment. <laughs> um, it means that I... Uh, I ate a certain way and I worked out a certain way yeah. um, that was healthy and sane with the help of nutritionists and trainers. And it meant also that I did the work from a character perspective. You can't show up on set and not be ready when there's that much money at stake. For sure. When there's that many skilled technicians making it. When you've got a lead like Joel Kinnaman who's carrying so much on his shoulders day in and day out, mm -hmm. you have to rise to the level of the show. And right. I think everybody did. And I have to say, I mean, look, you look 
fantastic. Thank I mean, you. oh my God, but when we saw you in that, you know, whoa. Like, in the nothing, when you listen, saw me in nothing. <laughs> in nothing, let's just call you. She gets naked, people. Yeah. She, but, but but here's the thing. You're, you're doing these the scene opposite Joel, who obviously there's a comfort zone there. You guys know each other so well. Like, or 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 does it make it more intimidating? How do, because you're friends. I don't know. How does that work? Um, I... <laughs> Um, I think at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is that I felt safe with Joel because I knew that he had my back as an actor. Um, to me, it's a very individual experience. Sure. Um, and mine have only been positive, this one included. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. No, it's good. You should yeah. be very proud. I think you did a great job. Thank in this. you. Um, the, like we were saying before, the, the premise is just so um, out there, but... You know, if you had an opportunity to inhabit anybody's body, even for mm -hmm. 24 hours, mm -hmm. is there somebody that you would love to, to live with? You know, as? I've been asked that a lot in the course of this day, yeah. and I just came up with another answer. Okay, actually. good, good. Um, We've got an exclusive. Yeah. But, but here's the thing. So what I've been saying is in the body of, of male or female sure. uh, triathlete, yeah. I would love. But I also, it's a difficult question because, because what I'd want to experience is the thoughts also of, the person. I'd yeah. like to experience that person's outlook as versus necessarily mine. Right. So consequently, I can't really have the way I imagine it. Therefore, I've been choosing someone who's got physical prowess, like an athlete who wins the Ironman or something like that. But I also would love to see the world from my son's point of view. Wow. However, that would mean I have to actually inhabit his consciousness. Sure. And that's not the same question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that would be cool. Mm. I don't know if I'd want to live through my kids, and I don't know if I'd want to be in their bodies. That would be kind yeah, of Yeah, I don't, you know? I'd want his thoughts. Like, I want to know his, he, I find him fascinating. Yeah. I, I feel really honored and lucky to be living alongside this totally independent individual who, but they came from me. Right. So I think that would be fascinating. And it is, oddly enough, one that we mess about with in Altered Carbon. Absolutely. Now, what was really cool about this is that it's not a ton of green screen. Like, I mean, you're no. really there on the sets. Like, yeah. that's insane. So our sets have been augmented by spectacular visual effects, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But for example, um, the world that you see just outside the hotel room window is a film. So it's a special effects film that is augmented later, but it's some, we were looking at what the audience sees. Yeah. There wasn't a ton of green screen. Amazing. Yes, it was. So obviously as an actor, that, that must help you so much. Yeah, not not it, to have to, you know, I mean, it's great to use your imagination sometimes, but wow. It helps in many ways. The, the dedication that our, our production design brought was just tremendous because the world was created for us but also it's exciting <laughs> when you first walk on the soundstage and you're in this enormous environment that is our exterior streets mm. you can't help but be immediately engulfed in this world yeah. and it's it's th really exciting jaw-dropping overwhelming um uh meaningful and moving as an actor because you're you're playing yeah you know yeah it and really, doing something for Netflix, too. Like, it, I, I would think that there's just a little bit extra freedom For there. sure. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And knowing how much they'd invested yes. was uh, meaningful. It was exciting. Yeah. Well, it, it, listen, it's such a great series. Sci-fi fans are going to eat this up. Like, you know, that's what that's one thing about Netflix. Like, you binge something, it's done. And you're like, when's season two coming? You know <laughs> what I mean? But be patient, people. I'm sure that <laughs> it'll all happen. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. You did such a wonderful job Thank in this you. series. Thank you. Congratulations thanks. on everything. Thank you so oh, much. Gosh.